all right so a lot of people do discredit facebook since tiktok have been the wave like hey i'm not saying don't run tiktok ads i'm just saying alongside with tiktok ads facebook is still powerful just because one platform came about does not take away the credibility and the traffic from another platform and i need you guys to understand that that facebook is still a giant when it comes to getting traffic getting leads and getting sales uh just because other social networks is coming into space you have to think about more so where the audience is rather than what platform if you focus on the audience rather than the platform that they're on or things of that nature sometimes you have better returns you have better re you have better revenue um and reason being is you understand the mindset of that audience and you understand where they're hanging out at if you can get in front of that audience and you can advertise them in an orderly fashion then you can really take control and then show them your products or service facebook is super super good still for getting leads traffic uh, even messages, app installs, followers, and things of that nature. I really don't recommend anyone take that away from Facebook because of the simple fact that you can really, really blow up off of it. All right. In our case scenario, we might do like a messenger or a lead gen campaign. Uh, typically, if you follow me, if you know me personally, I stick with the messages campaigns a lot because it's super, super um, powerful man it's just like once you engage in a conversation with a client or two it's easier to kind of like get them to do other things so that's why i love messenger campaigns on there you can also shoot for straight sales if you had an e-commerce and shoot for a conversion store you know store traffic or conversion sales or catalog sales too other than that we're going to go with messenger or we can go with traffic or messenger campaign here and then I will click on continue. So if you know me, you know I play with the messenger on Facebook like crazy. All right. So in this case scenario, I'm going to just name this campaign dummy campaign. Uh, all right. Uh, we got the campaign name. Then we're going to click next. After we click next, we're going to go ahead and choose our targeting. So we can leave the budget at probably like around fifteen dollars a day the same way we did with TikTok. you know we can do that with here with facebook and do a fifteen dollar day budget now for the audience you can use the audience for whichever product or service that you are using uh so if it's a specific product or service like this right here this is this audience right here is targeted towards people that's into solar so i'm using a safe audience if you need to create a new audience it's pretty easy too um, the only thing you have to do is come over here, select the location uh, you want to advertise. In many, in many cases, I might be advertising in Dallas, Texas. So if you know me personally, you know I advertise in Texas a lot. Like I advertise in Texas a lot. All right. So from there, we can increase this range to like 50. That's what I love to do is like do areas like popular cities, um, Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia, we can increase the range on that. Uh, Charlotte. Let's say Charlotte, North Carolina. Let's increase on that. Those are major cities that I know that are are big. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people is migrating to those cities. So Detroit. Michigan hmm, Why isn't it pulling up the exact city? Maybe I spelled it wrong Another area we could do Chicago, Illinois, and let's increase this, and let's increase this. All right, 
and the reason I do that is it saves me a lot more money and it brings in sales a lot more faster when I target these areas specifically by the city that they're in all right from there we can go in and change the age group so this is for you guys that don't have any um, audience already so how you can go ahead and start your targeting so we can drop that down to 25 65 plus I will leave that the same um, also include demographics so the, the great thing I like about Facebook uh, over TikTok, uh, I could say is the aging of Facebook and the ability to target certain audience so if I wanted to target let's say people that's into Tyler Perry right Uh, how, how, how do you spell his name right? I don't want to misspell the guy name you know so I can uh, come over here and target the audience of people that follows Tyler Perry so that's the thing about that's the thing about Facebook is is you can really target a certain audience literally based on you know certain celebrities or certain people that follow the TV shows or things of that nature so with the audience of Tyler Perry that brings me up to 4 million people and so that's a good thing for me because I'm doing indirect targeting and so now since I've got people that's into tar Tyler Perry I can now go into detail on that targeting define further that's it and I can say must like Home Depot right the Home Depot and so what I've just done now is I target an audience that likes Tyler Perry and they shop at Home Depot so it's possibly they may have a home or so, something of that nature and they like Tyler Perry so that's how I indirectly target my same audience all right now I come over here to manual placements scroll down and I can click off messenger Instagram audience network so I don't really want those things whatsoever I want things I know that's gonna work and what I know is gonna work is Facebook I want to have complete control and awareness over my traffic I don't want story reels I don't want anything only thing I want is one to two placements and that's Facebook uh, news fee and Facebook uh, possibly marketplace but in this case scenario we're gonna just stick with news fee we're gonna take off the video fee we don't need that we don't need the marketplace we just need this one placement called Facebook news feed why because I understand Facebook news feed it's easy to control it's easy to grow from there now from now now from there what I would do is click on continue since we have our placement set and so what we can do is we can go ahead and begin our ad so for our ad we can say get solar or or it can say home security And now what I'm going to need is to create a security ad. So I can say um, security. And I'm just doing this as an example. So this isn't a set ad. This is only for an example of showing you guys how to set this stuff up on Facebook here. Alright. So we're going to go with something pretty nice. All right? we're gonna, something like this. Amateur. But it shows you what you're getting. This is a lot of times this is kind of like what you want to do with clients is you kind of like want to use photos like this similar so people can kind of see like what in the world is going on. What is it that they're paying for when people see a boatload of cameras, doorbells, monitors and all that good stuff. 
then they have more trust and they were like okay well i know what i'm getting myself into so we're going to add media add image here and we're going to select the file from the upload and no it wasn't a screenshot let's go to downloads select the add image here boom put that in there and click next and we have a fee all right now we can put it in there just like that you say primary text save on or i could put some scarcity in it secure and protect your valuables now easily this premium home security hardware and software all right and let's go ahead and correct ourselves a little bit make out fix our errors and from there what we can do is start our conversation create another ad uh, I think that's good enough for us right there uh, I think that's pretty good that's pretty good start conversation yep all right I can say generate leads say start conversation I will I will stick with my conversation starters all right and click on edit on that and this is where I'll go ahead and change up the magic of the conversation hey Jeremiah are you ready to secure your home and you can switch this to a quick reply say yes I am ready all right and we can have an automatic response thing say hey okay great give us a call at you know I'll say a 1-800 number or something like that and then you can click save and finish all right and so we put a number in there and we have that set there so the conversation is set all right and so that's really all I will really do uh, uh, cost per no nah, we're good on that all right that's all I will really do uh, in this case scenario because of the simple fact that that's all it really takes it doesn't really take a whole lot more to create this ad and then we'll literally just click publish on this and that be it so other than that the ad is set that's all we'll do in that case scenario and i will say don't sleep on it because just because you know everyone is talking about tiktok ads and things of that nature don't disregard facebook because everyone's talking about tiktok trust me facebook works drastically like facebook makes a lot of money um, and I wouldn't just jump on what's new just so quickly just because of what you hear we'll go with what works instead that will end up being a better for you than kind of like just jumping on to something new instantaneously here all right so another thing too is if you do messenger I really would recommend that you kind of use something like mini chat to kind of like automatically put those people inside an email list and also continuously respond to them via Facebook. Uh, reason I say that is because it's like you can now just constantly have those same people to rehash to on repeat just by sending them out messages from Facebook there. All right. And another thing, if you guys want to learn more, just head over to WeRunAds.com check out the course on we run ads um, 
and learn more and more traffic uh, strategies on how you can grow your business, how you get to more affiliate sales, how you get to more traffic. The juicy part, the main thing is how to run TikTok ads, how to run Facebook ads, how to run Facebook Marketplace, how to run YouTube ads, how to run Twitter, how to run you, how to set up this stuff, right? So that's the main thing that I'm showing with you guys here. So you can get a good understanding of what's going on and how you can do it for your business or your offers or products or service. No matter if you got e-commerce, affiliate offers, or your own product or your own business there. All right, this stuff works. All right, hope you guys enjoy this video. I will see you in the future.